I am Isis. Beloved ones, I greet you this day in internal joy. We are working to anchor divine thought forms in your collective consciousness, which will counter the extreme separation which is occurring in your world now. These are extreme times in your collective ascension process. The spiritual awakening is spreading across your planet as higher light continues to enter the earth plane. As this process accelerates, humanity seems to be polarizing itself. Faction against faction. What is actually happening is that much of humanity is clutching desperately in fear to the duality that has provided the human paradigms of existence to fall. Beloved ones, some time ago I shared a message with you through this channel about the hidden thoughts words and deeds of humanity being revealed now. As you can see, that message is being fulfilled. Daily in your news headlines, you will read about some deceitful or criminal act by a trusted member of your society being exposed. The secret workings and agenda and agendas of your governments are also being exposed to full public view. You may find that the basic human rights that you thought you possessed as humans seem to be slipping away. Some of you may feel very alarmed and quite powerless, knowing that you have been deceived by those who trust you trusted in almost all of your valued institutions. You may feel very fearful about rattling of sabers which is taking place among the warrior nations and groups of earth. The sabers now take the form of technological and biological weapons with the potential of destructive, massive destruction. So now is not the time, my beloved ones, who serve the light to fall back into the grip of collective fear, which has held humanity in the lower light of separation from its divinity for so long. Now, more than at any previous time, it serves you to bypass the confusion of the linear mind and seek the strength that lies in your heart. You are your own redemption and that of collective humanity. You as human beings living in the earth plane have called forth your redemption and you are co-creating it in your every now moment with your thoughts, words and deeds. It will serve you no longer to continue perpetuating the same human behaviours that created the kind of world you live in now. The events that are frightening you are an essential part of the redemption and return to higher light that is now occurring. Beloved ones, I will now speak to you about karma which is the co-creative law which has governed your world. Humanity has always lived in grace and co-created its evolution in fall of its divinity and place in all creation. Earth and the heavens were one as embodied human fully co-created with the animate and inanimate consciousness of the material world and the intangible consciousness of the heavens. Thus, 
humans were able to explore a vast and rich playground of experience in order to know themselves and to fulfill high potentials in harmony with the rest of creation. Now once the law of karma is invoked, it must be played out to full completion, both individually and collectively. The law of karma creates the illusion of separation among humans, but in truth you are not separate one from the other. Humans create karma by making judgments of good and evil as individuals, groups, religions, nations and as a full collective. Once a judgment is made consciously or unconsciously, individually or as a part of a group consciousness, experiences are created which reinforce both sides or of the judgment for good or evil. The law of karma creates two-sided coin which spins around first to one side and then the other. Whatever you judge you bind yourself to repeating through your experience. Both the good and the evil Karmic transmutation only occurs through ceasing to judge that which has created the repetitive pattern. This is your mission and your task, my beloved ones, in service of the higher light. You took your embodiment upon the earth not to lose yourselves in a maze of confusing information or to create new belief systems which serve no better than the old. You came to transmute the karma of humanity by choosing to rise above the judgments that created it. Each one of you, as you took your embodiment, placed yourself in the exact circumstances to be able to transmute a portion of the karma which affects the whole collective. Some of you chose the karma created by physical and emotional abuse. Some of you chose the genetic karma of disease passed down through your hereditary line by corrupt thought forms. Some of you chose the karma of poverty lacking even the basic necessities of comfortable human survival. Some of you chose the karma of religion and spiritual oppression. Some of you chose embodiment in parts of the world where you could transmute the karma of war. The manifestations of these experiences throughout your lives have not been any form of punishment or any sign of failure but signs of your most important mission on behalf of humanity. You are not separate from your collective although you might have felt as such throughout your lives. Your mission above all others has been to rise above the judgments you have held throughout your human lives. You are to bring not only light but love into the earth plane. The true nature of this assignment has been widely misunderstood through the human filter of duality. It is as once a simple concept and a complete undertaking of many individual and collective lawyers. It brings love into the earth plane, as you have been told many times before. Love and fear cannot exist in the same vibrational space. 
If you fully comprehend the meaning of that concept, then the nature of your work on the earth plane also becomes clear. Judgment that which creates karma is a product of fear. In love, judgment does not exist and all experience is embraced for what can be learned from it. Your mission, each one of you, is to rise above your own fears and the judgments that hold them in place. You must learn to forgive those who have caused you pain and suffering and move out of the past into the now. Then moving beyond forgiveness, you rise up into taking full co-creative responsibility for the experiences of your life. Without self-judgment, as you do this, you transmute not only the karma which you have created, but similar karmic patterns throughout the human collective. Your karmic transmutation of your own experience through love then travels through the collective consciousness of humanity, giving strength and courage to all of those humans who have or are experiencing similar karma, karmic patterns. If you have experienced abuse, disease, spiritual, racial or gender oppression, poverty or war and rose above it, so shall your brothers and sisters also experiencing such be empowered to break their own patterns of karma. Human collective karma must be transmuted by a change in thought, word and deed, all three, by humans living in the earth plane. We in the higher realms of creation cannot do this for you. We have assisted you and shall continue to do so in whatever we can do without violating your free will. We must take up the responsibility of anchoring new thought forms of love. This you must do directly in your collective. However, to place power and faith outside of yourselves as you look to the heavens for your redemption is a part of the old paradigm and its karmic patterns. To apply the old belief system to the new gifts of spirit that are now making their way into your plane will only serve to corrupt their frequencies and render them virtually valueless to your work at hand. You will not find your own redemption or the redemption of humanity any place outside of yourselves. You will find it only by changing the thoughts, the words and deeds of fear and judgment that you have held into thoughts, words and deeds of love. So, beloved ones, as the experience of your world grows more chaotic and polarized, your pillar of strength lies within you in your ability to see fear for what it is and transmute it with love rather than the judgment and attachment that passes for love in your common human understanding. The deceptions and deceits that are now being uncovered are a part of the cleansing that is required for humanity to evolve beyond its past karma. The escalating anger and violence of individuals and groups is also a manifesting change. Fear and judgments of one to the other have, in the past, 
played out much more covertly. Now the anger and pain of millennia is coming to into your experience to be released and transmuted. Beloved ones, now you have awesome potentials before you with the awakening of humanity. But someone has to put the example there. The ac application of the new information in thought, word and deed. Only in this way will the new information become the new operating paradigms for collective humanity. You, my beloved ones, who are reading and listening to this message are the ones who have chosen this assignment to live fully in light and love for the example of all humanity. As you do this, you transmute the karmic pattern of your world and you open the way for awakening humanity to follow behind you in clarity rather than confusion. It is not an easy task you have chosen. This you already know as you took it up in your embodiment. Though you were given all the tools you needed to complete the task, you have them within you and you have the full support of all the higher realms of creation. The nature of your experience is accelerating now and the manifestation of existing karmic patterns will come more quickly in the events of your world so that you may transmute them. You may feel as if you are experiencing a lifetime in the course of a year. Life changes may come very abruptly. It will not serve you in any way to continue to embrace the energies of fear in the human collective. Your inner security and stability in the accelerating energies of the next year's will be your pillar of strength within. It will serve you well now to work to fortify that pillar of strength. Detach from the massive flows of information that which you overload your mind and emotions. Instead, take time to seek and find the voice of your own inner truth. Connect with the earth and feel her rhythms. They will restore your sense of balance from a higher awareness. Look at the experiences that are manifesting in your lives and see how you might have co-created them through fear and judgment. Do not fear moving on from relationships and attachments which drain your energies and lower your emotional frequencies in the next years. Such relationships and attachments will be a heavy weight to carry. The most precious gift of Mother Father God is your own free will and choice, although worldly powers have tried to take that away from you, from millennia of disempowerment. It cannot be taken from you. Now is your time to fully remember and reclaim that gift and use it. For many of you go through your days operating on old behavior programs and habits acquired through the teachings of your elders and the judgments of your own experience. It never occurs to some of you that you actually have a choice about many things that you realize. One conscious choice is a choice for empowerment, whether it's a small choice or a large life-changing choice. 
Be aware of the behavioral programming you hold and break your habits. Remind yourself often that you do have a free will and choice and that you are not bound by any life circumstances unless you choose to be. Be fully aware of your choices and make them in love rather than fear. You, my beloved ones, are at the forefront co-creating the next level of human evolution by every choice of thought, word and deed. You must awaken fully and find the source of power that is within you in order to be the example for the awakening masses walking behind you. You are the ones charged with transmuting the long repeated karmic patterns of humanity and with anchoring the new thought forms within the earth plane by your thoughts, words and deeds in the accelerating frequencies of your next years you will no longer be able to walk between the worlds of love and fear you must choose one or the other clarity or confusion and further oculation we honor you for your courage in taking up this task and support you always in all possible ways you must ultimately co-create your individual and collective experience within the earth plane now is the time to go within and find your divinity rather than to continue to seek your power from sources outside yourselves Without the inner pillar of strength, you will be caught up and blown about in confusion. As you fortify your inner pillar of strength, so you shall become the firm foundation for the evolution of humanity. Within your bodies, you will feel this shift, even if you are only slightly aware or barely aware for as the void opens, releasing antimatter, there comes a lightning of the cosmic energies which fill you as the vacuum effect occurs. You are being filled with light energy, cleansed, wiped clean, initialized and initiated to the energies which follow. That energy which follow is taken and laden with the symbolic language of the infinite. It is both teacher and student, mother and child, peace and all that is not, love and its desire and fulfillment. The energy which comes with the language of the light will open within each of you. Avenues of consciousness which you have never conceived. Avenage, avenues which, if you choose, will bring you to a greater being by virtues of your very own existence. And those avenues will be filled with the instructions contained within the symbols. And the instructions will become you and you them. What are the messages contained in the symbols. All that has ever been, all that can be, infinite possibilities at your disposal to change your experience and even the world in which you live. Infinite information to guide you toward brighter being and the safety from within the one. When your life moves into a cul-de-sac, that seems to have no way out. It is then you must learn to fly above what blocks your progress. Lift your thinking upward to a new plateau of creation. Anything that is happening in your life is because of you. 
own it. You are not a victim, but a student engulfed in deep, animated teachings. Just like learning to become a soldier with real bullets, this is not a practice run, but the real thing. Even through earth is holographic of nature, all actions on earth are recorded and held secret. Even in your holographic universe, all thoughts count like live ammunition. You are moving on up to that deluxe apartment in the sky. You are asked to experience a new level of self and soul that you are not familiar with, not comfortable with. Like meeting new people, all you can do is observe until it is safe to act. The mind and the body are joined by a new soul being one they have not interacted with before. They are suspicious and confused by this new vibrational presence. The old aspect of you has left, never to return, but in a fleeting, fleeting memory. The new aspect of your soul presence is not attached to any outcomes as the old you once was. The new aspect sees the entirety of the dialogue of creation and sits in the land of thought, manifest, manifestation with a feeling of power. There's one glitch in this vast portrayal of light enhancement. There is a thin ethereal membrane that keeps the new soul light intact. This thin ethereal membrane is like a protective sack around a newborn baby. It keeps it safe from the harsh outside world until it is ready to be birthed. Then the membrane breaks and tears. The new soul light that has been activated in all of humanity will not be fully felt until the time of Easter when the new soul membrane is ready to be dissolved in the higher light of activate achieved ascension. Achieved ascension being the many layers of your being that already reside at a higher light. Right now there's a feeling of being torn between two lights, two souls, two loves and two worlds. The sense of being you and not being you is amplified because of the past eclipses. All elements of life point at you, asking, will the real you stand up? As you try and try to read divine yourself, the confusion it seems to get stickier and deeper. So allow time for the membrane between the layers of light to quicken and thin. Fill up with what is good in your life and embrace what is beautiful around you. There will always be unresolved in your life on some level. It is important to move your awareness above it into the beauty of life. There will always be a pulse of polarity that keeps the small back, back hole in everyone's life spinning. So do not be sucked into what is wrong, always holding you hostage. What is wrong is but a minute minute percentage of your life force. So move your awareness into what is right, what is good and what is blessed and spend your creation in that place because every thought changes something and your thought now, uh, all your thoughts 
are heading straight into the new earth, the apartment in 5D. Celebrate. You know where you are, finally. So congratulations, beloved ones, for taking this journey with me today. Feel the freedom within. I am Isis, always at your service, always with love, and I thank you for being here today. And I, Rosalie, thank you also. Namaste.